Hey, hey, Pat Markford from the Pat Markford Show. Does did the Feds last week raising the rates affect the interest rates on buying a home? Good question. Let's get back to that in a little bit. I just want to tell you, I made a phone call to my two loan officers. I have three loan officers. Two of them I talked to, Chris Lee and uh, Eric Pierce. Been doing business with them for a long time. Very good. I just asked them and said, so what's going on with the interest rates? Well, let's talk a little bit about history about the Fed rates. Back in the 80s, the interest, the Fed rate went as high as 20%, and the, uh, buying a home was as high as 14%. I remember that back in those days. Hard to believe that I'm that old. And then when I bought my first home, the interest rates were 9% when you're buying a home. Kind of interesting. That was in the mid-80s, I think, is when, when I bought that home. But anyways, in 2003, the market took off, right? You guys might remember that. The, the price of houses go, started going up. And interest rates kept going down all the way down to 3%. But by 2008, the market crashed. Now, what happened? Well, there's a lot of things that happened. But I noticed when I was watching this, as the interest rates went up, the number of uh, went to 5 and 6% to buying a home. All of a sudden, boom. It dropped but there was other things and we're going to talk about that a little later or in the next video 2008 the market crashed and they started the Federal Reserve started lowering the interest rates so much that in one year in 2008 they lowered the interest rates nine times kind of a little bit of a yawner but you know what you got to pay attention if you're gonna be be doing a lot of stuff and we're gonna talk about what the Fed affects when the interest rates go up and down there's a lot of things that affects so you got to pay attention all right so anyways in 2008 that happened but then in the last three years the, the interest rates for the federal reserve went up nine times but if you notice a couple things back in 2008 the interest rates didn't go back down right away to zero because it went all the way down to 0.25 percent in the federal reserve the federal money but now they went all the way up to 2.50 and now things got a little crazy. Market took off, prices took off, everything, but the interest rates for buying a house started coming back down again, all the way down to around 3.65 to 4%, depending upon your credit and other issues that you have to take care of, not other issues, but other things. So, so I just wanna let you know that not everybody's the same, but the interest rates are actually looking pretty good. So what do the Fed rates affect? When they drop the price a quarter, and they're talking about dropping another quarter, there are short-term things that affect the value. Credit cards, car loans, equity loans, and let's see, I had another one. Variable loans, people that do have house loans that are variable loans, they do affect that. Those are all affected by that. But not directly home loans. However... Wait a second, I called them up and I said, hey, did the interest rates go down since then or did they go up or stay the same? And guess what the answer was? They went down and I'm like, wait a second, you just got through telling me that doesn't affect it. It doesn't directly affect it, but overall it affects it and then that affects it. The reason why, so let's talk a little bit about the reason why. Is the housing market softening or what's going on? Well, the Fed said the main reason why that they drop the interest rates is because the world economy is slowing. It's not necessarily the U.S. economy, but the world economy is slowing. So what should you do right now? What you should do is, if you're interested in refinancing your home and you're going to stay in your home three to five years or, or like three years plus or five years plus, consider refinancing your home. But if you're not, um, if you're going to sell before then, ah, it's not always the smartest move to refinance, okay? Or should you sell your home and buy a home? because the interest rates are low. Hmm. 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 I think you ought to think about buying a new home. No. Alrighty. Anyways, if you can share or like this, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you can send people my direction, I'd greatly appreciate it. And you know one thing, I'll take good care of them. Two more videos coming up tonight. One is, do interest rates affect the value of the home? If interest rates go up or down, will they affect the value of your home? And two, if the price of gas will affect the value of your home. What do you think on that one? Stick around tonight or tomorrow. You might look at this. Please, please pass this on. Thanks.